The opposition and the government are trading words inside and outside of the National Assembly after the opposition used their majority and shut down the Amila hydropower project which is aimed at producing electricity at a cheaper rate. Inside of Parliament last evening, government's chief whip Gail Teixeira said at the last moment the government made all effort to find compromise on the project. And that we were rebuffed and it failed. So Mr. Speaker, the, the, the country, the people, our people, Guyana, and the Guyanese people will judge us tonight. Then the government went on the offensive, accusing the opposition of not doing what is best for Guyana. But opposition leader David Granger said some more assurance is being sought by the opposition to ensure that the Amila project does not become another skeleton. One of the world's largest international investment institutions, the Blackstone Group, is associated with this project, is the private sector developer in this project. A major international investor, keen and interested in investing in Guyana, committed to this project in particular, working in partnership with large international financial institutions. If a miner collapses, if a miner is badly handled, if it is badly managed, it will do severe damage to the national economy. And we are not going to be pressed into a bogus deadline. Nothing, uh, as one colleague said, eight, 18th of July is not a drop dead date. So let us um, put the conversation in a holistic framework. Other things were taking place in terms of governance, in terms of local government bills. And there needs to be a good hydropower project in Guyana, one which brings the cost down, one which provides a great amount of electricity, but one which is properly managed and one which will leave this government, with, uh, leave this country with um, a, 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 a sort of incapacitated power sector. And this is the problem we face now with the GPL. Shadow Finance Minister Carl Greenwich said this is the largest investment project in Guyana's history and the government is not forthcoming on some of the questions about the project put forward by the opposition. He said the test of the hydro project is really what tariffs the government will be able to deliver and whether proper arrangements have been made to run the project. Do you understand? We have an obligation to the electorate and to taxpayers when we embrace a project that the government brings to us that we must be able to stand and defend it and if there are mistakes we have to take responsibility for that as well but we are not going to knowingly sign and support something with a government that happily fabricates information in order to sell their cases the hydroelectric power amendment bill and a motion seeking to raise the government guarantee of loans from Guyana 1 billion to Guyana 150 billion from the IDB was voted against by the combined opposition. Reporting for Capital News, Royce and Drakes.